Hi guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Here we like to do things all budget friendly and if you are like me and have champagne taste but are on a beer budget, these videos are for you. So of course today I'm bringing you yet another Timu haul. This time we're going to focus on tank tops because spring is around the corner. Not here in Minnesota, it is snowing outside and it is chilly so I do have my little fireplace space heater going so that when I try these things on I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna freeze. But we're gonna focus solely on tank tops today for the spring that feels like it's never going to come. But first, I do wanna let you know that a company that's on Amazon had actually seen one of my videos where I did a scoop neck backless top. It's in a video that I I've, I've did several videos back and they reached out to me and thought that I would be interested in their products. Now, what the company is, is Nidor, okay? And Nidor, you, again, you can find it on Amazon. They cater to wearing shirts and tops, wear bras, straps, things like that are something that you don't want to be seen as part of your outfits. So they reached out to me and offered to send me a couple of items for free so that I can try them on and let you guys know about it. And they did send me a link and a discount code. So I'll link the discount code down below as well as the link and the discount code in my description box. I am wearing one of their products now. So the first one that I am wearing is going to be a material type and they are adhesive bras. And I can tell you, I've never worn anything like this before. So when um, I put these on, it feels like nothing. It feels like you're not wearing anything. And it's bizarre to me because I feel naked because it's, it feels so natural. But I'm wearing one today so that when I show you these tank tops, I'm not gonna wear a bra, I'm going to be wearing one of the Nidor products instead so that I can avoid any bra straps with these tank tops. So the second one that I have, I'm going to show you is very similar to the one that I'm wearing, only this one is more full silicone. They did come with little nipple covers if you wanted to wear nipple covers versus you know the, the adhesive bra or you could stack them up, which is what I did. So I've got the nipple covers on in addition to the adhesive bra. So I got them in a size A cup. They do have several different sizes available. So they look like this. And again, the one that I'm wearing on the outside is fabric. The this only difference is, is that this one is full, full silicone, basically and the adhesive on these is extremely strong. So you wanna make sure that you keep this little plastic piece and put it, the plastic piece back on when you're done using it so that you can keep the adhesive sticky for longer. But I mean, it is, they are, they're very sticky, guys. So I was very honored that they reached out to me and that they had seen one of my videos and they asked me if I wanted to try these and share them with you. They are not sponsoring me. They are not providing me any money to do this video. They just gifted me a couple of items and said, hey, if you like it, show it on your video. So that's what I'm doing today. Now I'm going to move into the tank tops and this is why um, the, the Nidor bras came in really handy because tank top season is coming around the corner and a lot of these tank tops have straps like this, right? So you don't wanna be showing your bra strap because sometimes, you know, when people have their bras hanging out, it just looks tacky and inappropriate. So, this is the first tank top that I've picked up. What I like about it is that it is kind of a material that would be similar to the texture of linen, but it is not linen. And it is, it's a heavy material, so it doesn't feel very thin and flimsy. 
but the pattern is embroidered on the tank top itself. So you'll be able to see that the, the tank top is embroidered. It has this nice little decal around the edges of the top and the bottom. And I picked everything up in a size medium and I'm hoping that they're going to fit because all of them when I've pulled them out seems to be very wide um, and perhaps I'll have to return and size down, but I'll do a try on and we'll see. Another one I picked up is kind of more of a cotton feel. So not the, not the silky polyester, but a cotton feel. And it has, again, the strappy, the strappy straps. But on this one, it has a very slight metal embellishment. Now I'm hoping that this one isn't gonna cause a breakout because stuff like this typically causes some kind of irritation on me, but maybe not, who knows, we'll have to see. And I wonder, does it say the material in here? Let's find out, shall we? Interestingly enough, it is 95% polyester and 5% elastane, but it does feel like cotton. So I like, I like the texture of this one. Again, it's a nice, heavy material. The seams are pretty well sewn. I like the extra little detail on the straps. And I like the leaves are kind of, I don't know if you're going to be able to tell, but they are very slightly metallic. Yeah, you're not really gonna be able to tell in this lighting, but they are very slightly metallic. Another one that I picked up, now this one is that very silky polyester feel to it. Um, it has, it's a lot thinner material. It's not nearly as heavy. It looks more of like a cami or a camisole, something that would look nice underneath a blazer. Interesting one about this one is that there are extra strings in here. Now, I'm not sure if that's for you to tie around your neck. It's entirely possible. So we'll try it on and see. But I like the flower pattern on this one. Another one that I have picked up is this one right here. And this one is a it's very similar material to the last one I just showed you. It's a little bit more smooth and silky feeling. But what's nice about this one is that it does have a double lining in the breast area. So that's really nice. I like that idea. I wish they would do that on more things, but such is life. And the little extra something something on one sleeve with that ruffle that continues on down throughout the tank top is a nice extra little touch that I like. And it does have in the back a very slight elastic. But that's the only place that it really has elastic, which is interesting. And this one is not, the straps are not adjustable. The black one that I just showed you, I forgot to mention, the straps are adjustable, which is going to be nice if you um, need to bring this up a little bit more if you're part of the itty bitty titty committee like me and you wanna make sure that things aren't popping out. You know? <laughs> the next one I have, very similar to that black one, it may be from the, the same make and possibly just a different listing with a different color, but it has that lace top. Now, here's, here's a problem that I have right off the bat. They did not cut the lace very well up at the top. So I'm definitely gonna have to take a pair of scissors to this to cut out the scalloping here. Like, 
they did on this side to match the other side. So I'm disappointed that um, the quality of this one isn't all there, that it just doesn't seem finished. And it does have that strap that I think goes around your neck. But this one, um, the straps are longer than the black one. And again, the straps on the arms that go around your shoulders are adjustable. And the last one I have for us, oops, is a plain black with a lace top around, I should say, with a lace trim around the top from armpit across the chest to armpit. And this lace is much better quality than the one on the black floral and the white floral. So a much nicer lace. Again, the straps are sizable, which is nice. And very thin, not a lot of weight to it, and a cami style tank top. So there we have those. And I'm gonna go ahead and try these on and insert the videos if I do not have a particular top on. It's because it didn't work out for me. But I'll be right back with those videos. Here we have top number one. So again, like I said, I was a little skeptical because the size medium when I pulled it out of the bag felt like it was a little too wide but it's actually not too bad. There is a little extra room here, but it's, I think if I was to have gotten it in a size small versus the medium, it might have been too tight. So I do like the way this one looks and the way this one fits. And again, wearing that, that Nidor adhesive bra is really nice because I have zero <laughs> zero bra lines, which is really nice. I do have my tank top down or a, um, a tube top down just in case I need one to, to pull up, just in case things get a little too revealing. But I do like where it sits. I do like where the, the neckline comes and the length of it. Here's top number two. I'm a little disappointed in this one. Here's where the tube top came in real super handy. It comes down way too low. So, I mean, unless you're willing to show some side boob, this one is not going to be good. It, it barely is enough to cover nippleage. <laughs> Otherwise, I really enjoy this top. It feels very comfortable. I don't know if sizing down on this one would be the appropriate way to go or not. I don't know if it is just simply an issue with straps, which I could shorten up. It's not gonna be too difficult to do, or I mean, just wear another tank top underneath it. It's really not the end of the world, but I do like the fit of it otherwise. I do like the length. The length is nice. I like that I can either tuck it in or keep it out, which tucking in doing a half tuck for me is probably the way that I would wear it. And I like the additional detail on, on the strap. Okay, here's the cami style black floral tank top with that bizarre additional strap. Um, I think this is pointless. I think having it chopped off would be better and this is definitely going to be one that you will need to wear an additional tank top underneath so i do have my little tube top on just for to make to make this a not um inappropriate video or anything like that i do like the feel of it i like the additional little lace front it is nice and soft, has a nice length, so you can still tuck it in, in the front, 
and have it loose in the back. I did tighten up the straps quite a bit so that it would bring the front up more. I suppose I could still tighten it up even more, but then this might look a little funky if I did. Um, maybe if I was to have sized down to a small, it would have worked out better. And there is quite a bit of room here. So, I mean, I could send it back, but I think that's gonna be more of a pain in the butt to send back and reorder sizes. So for me, I'm just gonna work with what I have. I'm either gonna wear a tube top underneath it or another tank top of similar colors a similar color scheme, either this green or a red, or even just another black tank top underneath would work out just fine. I would prefer the strappiness of it, so maybe a tube top is a better way to go. So choices, send it back, keep it, work with it, pass it along. Maybe my daughter could fit into some, some of these shirts, even though this is not her style. I don't know. What are your thoughts? So here's that peachy flesh tone top. Now remember, I got all of these in a size medium. And this one, even though it's a size medium, and the last two I just did were a size medium, this one fits a lot better. I do like the ruffle that kind of crisscrosses and then swoops up and continues on in the strap in the back. I like that little extra detail to it. And I like that this strap on the opposite side is different. And it doesn't go down very far, which is nice. The straps again are not adjustable, but where it sits on me, again, size medium, and part of the itty bitty titty committee works out really well. And the length of it again is really nice. So you can untuck it if you wanted to have it untucked or tuck it in, which usually is what I do with everything is just do a little half tuck. So as suspected, the white floral is following suit with the black floral as far as the neckline scooping way too far down too revealing and again this is the one that they didn't finish off the scalloping and cutting the the mesh very well and i don't know what else to do with this weird extra string i tied it in a bow to see if that's the way it's supposed to be used it kind of looks stupid i don't know if you're supposed to just wear it out um i when you try to tie it around your neck it does this weird, weird, I don't know what you want to say. It puckers funny. Um, so again, probably something that I would just cut off. They seem pointless to me. They might help to keep on a hanger, but maybe that's about all they're good for. The straps on this one is adjustable. I didn't monkey around with the straps because I like where the armpit is. If I was to monkey with the straps, they'd be, they'd be really pulled in. So it, it fits a little bit smaller than the black one. Again, same size, same medium, but the, the straps don't need to be sh shortened up for me anyways on this particular one. This is the length on it. And for me, again, I would be tucking it in and doing the half tuck cutting out those ridiculous strings. But another one that's going to require a tube top or an additional tank top underneath. Here's the last top. This is the last, last cami top. Um, size medium again. I've got some extra puckering here. I think I would have had to have gone down to a small in this one. The length on this one is a little bit shorter, but bizarrely enough, right, if I was to have gotten a small, it would be pretty tight in here. So I don't know that this one is designed well at all. So it puckers up out here, but then it's tighter down here, and maybe it's designed to be skin tight. I don't know, maybe it's designed for big busted gals, maybe, who knows but I don't like the pucker of it. 
Um, the, the way that this is, this area fits nicely and I enjoy that and I wouldn't want to get a size smaller for this area, but this area. Um, again, I had to wear a tube top underneath it just so we can keep this appropriate, uh, an appropriate viewing video. And the, the straps in the back again are adjustable, but you know, if I did that, we might be, I mean, it might help, but it would still give me a bizarre little pucker here because I'm tucking this underneath my armpit. So I don't know. I'm kind of disappointed in the cami style tops. Um, overall, I think sizing down might help, but for me, I think I would just be staying away from the cami tops and just going with a regular tank top, in my opinion. Well, there you have it, guys. A little bit of a disappointing Timu review today. Unfortunately, things don't always go our way, and sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, and today was kind of a flop. But hopefully, my description and try-ons were helpful enough for you to determine if these are interesting items that you would like to pick up or not. I do also want to say thank you again to Nidor for reaching out to me and gifting me these strapless bras that I was able to wear within these try-ons. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe before you head out. And Koi and I would like to thank you for stopping by. So until next time, I will see you later. Bye guys.